Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Have y'all got into this beef with Cardi B and this girl named Paris? Because baby, she has read Cardi from top to bottom. Apparently she had made a tweet talking about maybe surgery or something Cardi had done. And she was a supporter of Cardi. And Cardi got the tweet and she went off on the girl and the girl went off on Cardi. Let's get into it. Y'all may as well tag Cardi B because I'm going to give it to her like she thinks she give it up. And before y'all start, no, she came and found my tweet after all the tweets that I was tweeting to praise her and chose that one. And she should have stood on it. Now, don't delete nothing because I'm just now seeing it. And I just woke up and it hit the blogs. Yeah, you caught red hand all that backbiting you thought you was going behind your button and clearing him for. You doing the same thing. Don't throw no rock and hide your hand, Miss Mamas. So this was one of the tweets that has not been deleted, right? This is what Paris said up top. Why does Cardi feel like she's above criticism? All of her peers are dropping albums and doing progressive things in their career, and she sticks out like a sore thumb. No tours, no meet and greet, no merch. One album featured singles and viral moments. Is she a rapper or does she rant? So Cardi said this down here. That's not what I said. F you and your three stomachs. So hold on. So this was another post that she made. Paris tweeted this. Cardi B having money don't make her better than me. She's done stuff so low in the gutter I'd never think of doing. And she listed all of those things, allegedly. And then she had that to say. She called the bottom of the barrel garden tool. Let's get back into Paris. It ain't an etch a sketch bitch in the motherfucking world who could ever make me feel bad about my body. You done touched everything on you, and you still got so many insecurities because you can't keep your husband at home. You done paid for bitches to get beat up because they want to be It could be four stomachs. It could be six stomachs. It could be seven stomachs. At the end of the day, you done sat there and paid for everything on you, and you still insecure. You still cannot keep yourself in the media selling sex and the sex ain't going nowhere it don't matter how much of a bad bitch you think you are with them hard ass titties at the end of the day what was said about you is correct your ass is sitting around trying to make sure you keep your family intact and your ass is still over here cussing out fans delusional fans when you're getting passed up by every single body around you you call yourself this badass rapper and you in this terrible ass 360 deal with atlantic when you need to be sitting around worried about how you gonna make sure these tracks hit the fucking charts and stay because even your peers are passing you up it's no reason why megan the stallions is on tour right now came out behind you and you done did a number one album and your ass can't even put out a actual single that stays on the charts longer than two weeks so yeah what i said was correct and if it hit a nerve that's too motherfucking bad so this post was put on Twitter, right? Talking about Cardi B responded to a comment from Paris, which um, could be perceived as body shaming. And they talked about how Cardi's response was hypocritical, given her past comments about others' appearances, right? And also, it exchanged Spark as a discussion on body image and the pressures of celebrity life. Hold on. So when Paris was like, you know, why does Cardi feel like she's above criticism? And this was Cardi's response down here. You know, if you, you got three stomachs. So this was a tweet that Cardi had deleted. But matter of fact, Cardi had deleted all of her tweets, right? So she was talking about being relevant and she was talking about Paris. She hasn't been to Paris or Paradise. And this was Paris's tweet right here. Hating Cardi B because she wants to be in a relationship with her husband and kid's father is strange. So she was saying that, but I think Cardi took it the wrong way. So Cardi and Paris was literally going back to back to back, right? Cardi even said that she um, would rather be on a table having surgery than having three stomachs like Paris. Like it was a mess. Child, but Paris ate right here. She said, you trying to compare bodies and don't want to compare bodies of work. I mean, y'all, it's a mess over there. But then Cardi got to talking about, you know, how she's still getting offers like she does and it's 2024 and she only has one album after seven years and she doesn't have to compare herself to her peers. Um, that's what insecure women do that don't know they spot in the game. Now, I feel like Cardi always tries to explain or take up for herself and I do feel like it's some insecurities there but let's finish what Paris had to say you got bigger fish to fry and it ain't me so the next time you feel like you want to come for me first of all you better stand on what you said 
You better stand on what you said, because I'm the bitch that's going to give it to you. I don't give a fuck how black you want to pretend you are. I'm really that. Don't nobody look at me and question it. I don't care about your accomplishment, because next time you want to say something out your mouth, I'm going to be right here to give it right back to you.